Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts today, guys. I'm continuing the journey, of course, with the Batman. We're getting close to the end, guys. It's really crazy to think that we only have a few more episodes of the show, and it is done. It's been a long journey. It's been a crazy journey. Thank you guys so much for supporting the videos. This is Season 5, Episode 9, Attack of the Terrible Trio. Now, don't know what that's referring to. We'll find out in the episode. I'm thinking, what is that title? Okay. Who's the terrible trio? I have no idea. We'll find out, of course. So last week's episode was another Joker-centric episode, and someone had commented this, because I'm actually recording this the day after uploading my last reaction to the Batman, uh, which was Season 5, Episode 8, uh, The Metal Face of Comedy, which was a Joker-centric episode where Harley was in it, which was great. Awesome to see Harley. But Joker became uh digital in a sense then he got into these nanobots that wayne tech was creating or whatever and then there was another joker it was a whole mess but someone had commented saying do you think that this pretty much solidifies joker is the main villain of the show overall in terms of how many appearances he's had and all the stuff that's kind of occurred with joker and i would say yes my only thing is that we literally had a joker episode just before like like two episodes before it episode six of this of season five so i kind of wish it would have been somebody else instead of joker that that occurred to and everything but it is what it is because it's always fun to see joker i just kind of wish we spaced out the joker stuff a little bit more because uh, literally it was like episode joker something and then episode joker because episode seven was green lantern and sinestro so literally in between two joker episodes was that and then joker again so it was just like okay so we'll see what happens um it's kind of crazy we're almost done with the show i will be posting at some point pretty soon not sure when exactly but pretty soon i will be posting an official video to do the voting of what show we're replacing the batman on saturdays when the show is done but i'll figure all that in, in a bit uh give me some time on that I have to figure out what shows i want to put on there for potential voting so let's get into now guys season five episode nine of the batman attack of the terrible trio let's go oh a party What's going on? What? Oh shit. Oh my King Shark? I'm careful. Oh, he can walk on land. I don't think it's King Shark. Fox man? I'm confused. Vulture girl? I don't know, Vulture Man? What the fuck is going on? Oh shit, it's been a while. I think you know why we're here, Professor Langstrom. I realized I could never go down that road again, and I haven't. Someone has. I'll do some snooping around here in the morning. But what about your school? This yeah, school. This is my school, but does he remember I graduated high school? No. Oh, I didn't know that. It was a long time ago, David, okay? So they can change back? When she I think. It wasn't a costume. You cooked up any more of those patches? It's easy. Patches? Once you have the recipe. Not again. What? what? The doof they gave me for a roommate. <laughs> Damn. What a newbie. You should tell the dorm advisor about this. Mind your own business. Of course, lots are going to go out, and he's there when there's a... Oh. Wait, how did he not hear? Okay, whatever. Bird. Ooh. Oh, I actually scratched him. This is such a bizarre. So that the patches are temporary. Like gave him a patch too. Oh, you'll see. Oh shit, he's strong. Ooh. You gotta get out of here quick. What's the rush? Come on. See, they're not skilled fighters. No. They're probably strong, but they're not skilled. Nope. <laughs> he backhanded them. Get out of here with your shit. Hey, we got a problem. Okay, I didn't expect Gorilla. Of course. King Kong reference? No kidding. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Oh shit, now he's out. He's just running around everywhere and destroying shit. Uh oh. Nice. What was that? Like, some sort of like a Sonic thing or something? So now they know that they turn back after a bit. If you're serious about wanting to help, see if you can come up with an antidote. I'll get to work on it. 
Frankly, we don't know what's been caused. What the fuck's happening? At this point, we're Jake's in the hospital now. It's not funny. Oh, what's funny to them? Uh oh. You saw what a jerk he was. Yeah, she has to know something's up. Come on. I'm calling for all Gotham University students to have DNA tests that will determine oh, who's shit. been abused. But what if everyone else takes a test and we don't? We don't. Yeah, they'll know. They know it was us. What if everyone had the mutagen in their system? Oh, shit. What are you talking about? Doing some searching. Where Doing some researching. Langstrom's lab. Because unless the university's stuffing their dorm pillows with vulture feathers, I found our bird girl. They're not going to be there. They're at the game. Think they're at the game? Oh, computer's on. The hard part is finding the right place. What? You got this? Batman. Batgirl. Mm-hmm. Better get up here. Transformation. Those are not lab animals. <laughs> Ooh. She's got the antidote. Damn it. It would be too easy. Spray him. Come on, do it. Oh, shit. Oh. Don't get yourself locked in a cage. Batman. You might have seen me, but you sure didn't understand. Mm, I like that response. You're a sellout. Pretty soon I'm gonna turn the stadium into the world's biggest freak show. Thanks to this. It ain't gonna happen though. It's too much. Of course. Mama? Vulture attack! They're making it obvious though. Once this goes off, a cloud of mutagen will cover half the campus. Exactly. The snakes are flying too. Exactly. The problem is, they didn't take their belts. Oh, yep, yeah, here comes security. They're gonna try. Nope. Spray! Spray her, too. Ooh! Hit it. There you go. In the face. Damn. Did she do that, or did he do that? They, they're, they're not... They're not saying who. Damn. It got worse. What in the fuck? It just got so much worse. Night. Okay, now they're flying around. <laughs> Ooh, oh. There you go. If I was given a couple of guesses as to who is the terrible trio that the title is referring to and like who are the terrible trio going to be in the episode, I would not have guessed three students from college that Barbara is now going to, she graduated high school, three students from college that stole Dr. Langstrom, of course, man bad or whatever, we know that, of course, stole a formula and modified it to where they can become creatures. Like, like one is like a version of King Shark, you know, basically a shark, fox, and a vulture. I would never have guessed that, but this definitely was an interesting episode for sure because of that, because instead of them just being creatures that were transformed due to some sort of mutation or something, or maybe they took the form of Dr. Langstrom and they could never turn back. So there's these, there's these creatures now that these animal hybrid human things, then that would have been interesting as well. But I like the fact that they can turn back and then they had a plan to turn everybody into creatures, into these hybrid animal human things, because the one kid who's kind of running it, who, who becomes the Fox is like, well, I've always said this school is like a zoo. Why don't we turn it into one? Like, why don't we? Because they were going to start doing DNA testing because they turned a bully who was his um, roommate in his uh, college you know, dorm room or whatever, um, turn him into an ape, which when he grabbed Batgirl, I'm like, oh my God, it's like King Kong. And they even referenced, I've seen this movie before. It's like, <laughs> it's a King Kong reference kind of, but he could have easily crushed her. And so was saying that. Batgirl's in the episode. Yay, I was so happy. No, there was no mention of why Dick wasn't in the episode. No mention of why Robin wasn't there. I, I was expecting something to be said to why he wasn't in the episode. But it's fine because Batgirl. I love seeing Batgirl. Um, so, the opening scene, there's like this beach party. Here's a shark. And I instantly think King Shark. Because I see him like, King Shark? Because like, Flash is in the world, right? Flash is in this world, so... King Shark possibly could show up at Gotham. Why not? Right? I'm just throwing. Who knows? No, but I think it was kind of a reference, maybe to King Shark. Like I don't know if they were they were allowed to use the character, or maybe they just like, well, let's not use King Shark. Let's just have a kid be a shark that looks like kind of like King Shark to pay homage, kinda. Sure, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it wasn't that at all. They just wanted a variety in terms of we want a water-based animal, a 
like woodland based animal and then a flying animal so we have the shark fox and vulture which i kind of guessed on the vulture I'm like vulture girl vulture lady i was kind of just assuming like is this a girl who's the vulture and i was right but and i think the voice actor for the vulture girl is daphne from scooby-doo i think because i think she also voiced the girl that was running away or whatever that was being chased by the shark i think that was the daphne voice actor as well it's kind of weird. I'm like, is that Daphne from Scooby-Doo Mission Incorporated? Like, I know she's done more than just Scooby-Doo Mission Incorporated as Daphne, but I'm like, is that her? I think it's just, I think it's her. But anyways, it sounded really similar. But um, so they're terrorizing this the, the that beach thing, and then they then you find out that Doctor Langstrom had nothing to do with this because that's a good assumption that Bruce would have. It's like, well, there's animal human hybrids attacking people. Doctor Langstrom is not in jail for some reason. Don't know why he's not in jail. Maybe he got out for good behavior i have no idea but he actually comes up with a formula later that they use to actually spray shark boy and vulture girl <laughs> whatever you want to call them shark boy and lava girl i know that that's a movie so that's why i call him shark boy um but he actually makes the formula and i thought because i was thinking this dude like how okay so this episode could make another turn to where dr langstrom here's the blood sample of, I think the gorilla that was attacking or whatever. Yeah, the gorilla, the, the, the guy who was inadvertently given a patch. By the way, a patch? I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, I thought maybe Dr. Langstrom might look at this and go, wait a minute, I can, you know, I can do more with this or something? Like, I, I'm not really sure. But he cribs, he does come up with a formula, so he doesn't revert back to his old ways. And they, they could have went that route for the third act of the episode, but instead they have the trio wanting to create a bomb like and they, and they didn't make it subtle that they were kind of going inside the stadium at the football game to let it off they just show that oh here's the vulture girl here she comes flying in scaring cheerleaders and you can see them out like out and about on the football field even though they're on the edge of it but they're making it known they're there wouldn't they all want to run away in the stadium i would think so but regardless they uh, had the bomb there and everything and there's a moment and I'm kind of jumping around a bit, so I do apologize. There's something I want to mention earlier that I think was interesting in terms of the Fox uh, guy talking to Bat Batman and Batgirl. But there's one particular thing I want to mention I think is really interesting. So the girl gets sprayed, and she's reverting back to herself, and she's no longer the vulture. She gets knocked into the room. like She gets punched, kicked, whatever. It's And then it cuts to a shot of both Batgirl and Batman staying together. It, it's not exactly implied that Batgirl hit her. Batman could have hit her, but I think I think the implications that Batgirl did because they were like because they were both fighting over the actual spray and she's the one who sprayed her and she started chasing her. But Batman was in the vicinity, so I don't know who exactly hit her. They didn't show exactly who hit her. <laughs> I think it's because she was human again. That there's certain limitations because they're college kids, so I don't know because the guy who was the shark he was he was taken down by the security. He was tackled, so that's fine. But with the girl they. She gets hit and falls on the floor, but we don't know who hit her. <laughs> so I feel like, I think it's Batgirl. I'm 90% I'm sure Batgirl's the one who knocked her down, but Batman could have done it too. Like, get the fuck out of here. Because he backhanded the Fox guy at one point. <laughs> that was so funny. Like, he's strong as hell, and they're all stronger with the, with this uh, um, with this formula in their system, like this, you know, this sequencing within the patches. And so when they're turning into these human-animal hybrids, they're stronger and everything. But I pointed this out. They're stronger doesn't mean they're actually good fighters because the fox guy was losing like he got his ass handed like batman backhanded him like get the fuck out of here dude and dodging him and shit left and right because they're stronger but they're, they're not efficient fighters they're literally college kids who get ignored and so they have so they they bonded towards each other and they don't know how to fight they don't know how to defend themselves so the, how they defend themselves is becoming these you know these fox vulture shark creatures or whatever to scare off people right to show how powerful they are right so and it's temporary i wonder how i wonder how long usually it lasts per patch they really didn't specify on that i guess it wasn't important but it kind it should be i would think since they came up with this thing um so i don't think dr lynch used patches did he or did he i don't think he did anyways if he did apologies i don't remember <laughs> it's been a bit with that particular storyline with man bat and everything um so I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought about this episode. Oh, the the thing I wanted to mention, I was I literally was blanking there. I'm like, holy crap, like that's bad. Um, 
the the fox guy when he has batman and batgirl didn't take their belts didn't take their weapons away so i mean he just locked them up and then he the shark guy bit down on the, the lock or whatever to keep it like locked in like crunched it so he couldn't just because he could easily just go in and unlock it right and get out of the cage but he, he of course he sets it off and explodes it and then the snakes go flying and everything but the fox guy says i looked up to you i saw you um on like a, a rooftop or on top of a building or whatever he was saying uh, i saw you and then you know but and batman responds because as he's going on about whatever he's like he's like yeah you you might have saw me but you didn't understand you don't you don't understand me like basically you say you're inspired by me but you don't know what i stand for and so it's like hmm and then he's like well you i think you're a sellout it's like all right so you really didn't you, he really wasn't he was only an inspiration because it was a guy at he dressed up as a bat kind of like an animal you know kind of animal an animal but he took it one step further with this formula from dr langstrom that he stole i'm guessing he's the one who, who infiltrated his system or whatever and stole it who knows but the whole thing about you inspire me is like well you might have saw me but you don't understand what i stand for so I, I couldn't really be an inspiration for you. <laughs> so that was interesting stuff there. Um, overall, it was an interesting episode, especially with this animal-human hybrid situation going on. And uh, Dr. Langstrom actually not being behind it, which I didn't think he was, but then thinking may, maybe there's a turning point where he will be. And like, you know, he's like, oh, shit, I'm not going to... A turning point. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I actually want to do more of this again. He's like, no, I don't want to go down that road again because he doesn't want to go back in jail, right? Or Arkham. So overall, this was a fun episode, interesting episode for sure. I'm curious what you guys thought about this episode and what do you think about uh, the animal-human hybrid thing and all that. I, I think it's definitely interesting. And the, and the fact that he turned in there at the end to like a hippogriff or something, uh, is that what it's called? Or, but like he became even more of a monster. I thought he was going to turn like a bigger, more like crazier monster version of a fox. But no, he went a little more of a route of variety of like different looks, like a lion and a bird head and I said hippogriff or whatever that's what they call it. But yeah, it definitely was crazy to see that go down and then he's back to being normal again so he's fine because he's in jail now <laughs> so anyways whatever thoughts you have guys let me know in the comments below i'm curious to know your thoughts talk to you guys soon peace out